there's three different things that I want to talk to you about today. The first two of which have to do with this desk behind me, slightly. The third of which is just a little statement to my past self. First of all, Abundance of Catherines. It's a pretty good book. It's also the last book by John Green that I have not yet read. Last year, for some reason, I went on a streak and read every single John Green book that I could find. Looking for Alaska is my favorite. The Fault in My Stars is my least favorite. Uh, this is probably a close second so far to Looking for Alaska. I think I relate to the main character in this one a little more than I would, say, a teenage girl with cancer. If you've read the book, the main character is a genius. I'm not saying that I'm a genius. Uh, I just did really well in elementary school, so well that I never had to study, and then when I got into middle school and high school, I had no idea how to study, and I kind of felt as though I had already hit my peak. Good book. I recommend it. Number two. This is a little fragment of the new Ben From Earth Episode 2 script that I've been working on. Uh, because Zach went off to college and he was a very prominent character in the original Episode 2 script. So that's part of why there hasn't been anything. I've addressed this in the past. Uh, so I'm trying to do a complete and utter overhaul of it. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this later as well. We're going to make an official announcement. But uh, the Ben from Earth is going to be placed on a semi-permanent hiatus, meaning I'm not sure when the next one will be out. Uh, I'm saying this, and I don't know how many of you actually watch these, but for those who don't, there will be an official announcement probably in a few days. We'll make a video about it, but I'm sorry about that. I know it's been like six months since the first episode came out. Uh, I was really hoping this was going to be something we could do over and over again and just get better with it and hone sort of the thing that we love to do, filmmaking. Um, so I'm sorry that didn't turn out to be the case. I'm hoping it's going to be more of a temporary thing. I just want to... I want to be more careful this time and more confident and more adult about it. Because uh, as I've addressed, I've, I've already said all of this in the past. That's the thing. I don't want to keep talking about this because it's, it's not a big confidence boost, obviously. Uh, moving on, because that was... Oh, crap. I forgot what the third one was. And now I just remembered it's it's another depressing thing. Uh, a few days ago, past me, when you were talking about your first day of school, the thing that you asked me is, or it was, uh, you said, when is Joe Kane coming back? Or is Joe Kane back yet? And the thing is, he doesn't come back. There's this really, really <laughs> rule in the Racine School District where even if you're on sick leave, even if you have cancer or you're going to give birth, if you're on pregnancy leave, I forget what the date is, but if, it, if you're gone for like more than, what was it, like six months, legally they have to put up your job and... He interviewed for his job, and they didn't give it to him. And that's always something that I I just can't wrap my mind around it. I mean, this this is one of the best teachers probably at Walden, one of the teachers that has one of the best understandings of the Walden way and our principles and our goals and our aspirations and what it's all about to put it in a really really weak and vague phrase and I just don't understand so that's depressing um, I can't end this 
on a depressing note because then it makes it look like I'm sad and I'm not sad I'm not at all sad well I'm sad that Joe Kane didn't come back yes but all around I'm not in a sad state of mind right now I'm in a very happy state of mind and I'd like to keep it that way and I don't want this video to reflect otherwise so here's two really quick things that make me happy so this video doesn't end on a really depressing note one I went on a date yesterday it was a really great time we're going to homecoming that's all I'm saying I'm not giving you any details at the moment because it's part of my personal life and I give you aspects of my personal life and I try to share as much as I can but I, I just want to keep this for me at the moment two I am going to France in 2017 which is my graduating year more specifically my French class is going to France and that is excluding maybe like a large sum of money that's probably the best graduation gift that I could get and I'm really looking forward to that but I realize that now I'm really gonna have to bust my <laughs> and learn French really well because Canada Canada English is one of the official languages France no way so there's two happies to balance out the two sads alright I'm not sad I'm happy I'm good carry on